Welcome my viewers and my listeners of the program Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. Uh, your presenter Pastor Florence Minor and today I'm going to be doing in a very different setup. I'm outside my yard here. I have my vegetable garden here and I want to share something. That's why I'm dressed in a casual way because you can never be dressed the way, you know, you can be not dressed up when you are out in the garden. Even though I'm not going to be doing manual work, maybe another time I will, but there is something I want to share with you. And the title of my message today will be called to be diligent workers. And I'll be deriving my message by referring to Proverbs 19 verse 15. I like the amplified standard fashion that said, let me see, uh, around me because of this, um, the weather, I may not be able to uh, to look on the screen all the time. I'll be looking at, to the uh, I'll be looking what I'm reading because I don't want to miss something, and I know God will bless us. I like the new American standard uh, standard what it says: "Resonance cast one into a deep sleep, and a resonant person suffer will suffer hunger." Uh, I liked another one here. NASB uh, version says listeners cast into a deep sleep and an, an, an idle man will will suffer hunger let us pray father in the name of Jesus I'm outside here that I may minister to somebody under the sound of my voice who might have been fearing to do something they have never tried and it is okay to try something even if we try and fail it is my prayer that every person under the sound of my voice will get something that will make them take a step oh jehovah god towards the arrival and the way they live dear father casting out every idleness and sleeping unnecessary god you've you created the night so that we can sleep and daytime so that we can work help us dear lord we have a saying that the the early bird catches the best warm i pray that god almighty be, be may i be speaking to should i be speaking to a young person or an old person jehovah god i pray that they will be able to be encouraged dear father and challenge and inspired to do something after hearing this message in jesus name amen and amen i'm so much grateful for this weather it's a weather that i like because i like to be outside and i enjoy the nature and, and especially when times are out because sometimes i'm at work and so today I decided not to do my celebration outside and I'm in the neighborhood so I'm also being a, a testimony that because I'm not afraid of who I am and sharing the gospel and so I'm so much delighted that I can be able to share the word of God in any place. God has called us to be, oh my goodness, his ambassadors in this world. And in no ways, in our families, in our in our places of work, wherever we go. And that's why I'm here. So I believe God has something for you. And I want to say that I always like to refer to the book of Proverbs. Even when I'm celebrating in the kitchen, because the, we are given the example of the ants that they work or they f they look for their food, they store their food during the summer for the winter. I should have brought a pack, a package of this kind of vegetables, the same one I got from the shaba last last season, and I packaged them. They are frozen, and this is another season. Yeah, I thank God for that. And so, but for today, let me just, I want to share something that uh, we need to be diligent workers. We have been called to be diligent workers. I had to look the meaning in the dictionary of being diligent. And this is what it says. It's being steady, earnest, and energetic, and having an energetic effort. And be, it also says diligent worker. Adjective is having or showing care and consciousness in one's heart and duty, work and duties. And other similar words for diligent is active, busy, energetic, steady, and constant. I must say that also God's words and car is very clear and, and that we are instructed to work hard and put our best effort forward. Be it in our spiritual life, in our physical life, in our marital life, where we are employed, when we are serving the community, and also in the ministry. We work hard. I know sometimes we can really be able to work hard in one area, especially in the ministry. We work so hard, tell people, get saved, get saved. But it's one thing to tell them and to do it in the practical way. We need to work hard. We need to pray hard. We need to fast hard. We need to preach the word of God hard. But we also need to do the practical part of it. And I thank God because the Bible covers all of it. 
And so, as I said, I like the, the the Amplified Bible. And also, I also remembered that Colossians 3, 23, this is what it says. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. When I come here, I am working for the glory of God because I will not be misusing extra money that I can use for ministry, buying vegetables while I have the hands and I have the strength and the health that I can be able to do a, you know, a gardening. You may tell me I live in, a, in an apartment and, or maybe in a rental or a facility and I don't have a place where I can be able to do gardening. I want to tell you, I'm not trying to brag, but even in our apartments, I used to plant, you can plant a tomato in a container. I have some flower containers, and those containers you can also plant like tomatoes, you can plant like herbs, yeah, you name it. So, whatever God has given you at your disposal and potential, just do it for His glory. And uh, let me read this fashion that stood out so much. New American Standard Bible, it says, in that is, I'm talking about Proverbs 19.15, which is the reference. Reason is, cast one into a deep sleep, and there is a person who will suffer hunger. Does that mean that sleep is bad? No, sleep is very good. It's necessary. It's healthy. But you don't oversleep. You don't sleep so much. And uh, it says here in another fashion, NASB, listeners cast into a deep sleep and a night man will suffer hunger. We must avoid idleness. When Jesus was on earth, he was calling people who were active. That's why he saw oh, oh, the, the, the disciples who were fishermen. They were doing their business and he called them. God is after people who can work hard, who are responsible, who are ready to use their energy to bring benefit. Rick Warren in his uh, book, uh, The Purpose Driven Life, has states that we have not just been created or put into this world just to be consumers. Consume and also produce. Okay? We eat healthy so that we can be productive. May God help us. Productive, physically, spiritually, and mentally. Okay, so I also want to read a few things here which I didn't want to miss. Oh, there is another one. Let me just read this in this fashion. It says, good news translation. Say, go ahead. I'll be ready. Sleep on, but you'll go hungry. Oh, let me repeat that one again. Go ahead and be ready. Sleep on. But you go hungry. There is sleeping and then sleeping on, sleeping in. What is this sleeping in about? In actual fact, when you sleep too much, you even get tired. You get, you feel lazy. You cannot do anything. And what I wanted to say is, now, these are perennial vegetables. I think, <laughs> I, love, I love God. I like the way God does things. I used to plant sukuma wiki. Kale, which is kale or colored greens. I used to do cucumbers and tomatoes. I'm going to try again this season. I'm a little bit late. And then they started being eaten, messed up by squirrels. As you can see, I have trees in the backyard. And so, somehow, an idea came and I planted these perennial ones. It seems like it worked out because I was not so busy that time. Because if I, if I still do the seasonal one, every time I have to plant, I could have been overtaken like now. Now this one have sprouted up again. If you are in the area, come. I'll give you some to go and plant. Wherever you are. By the way, I will still be planting some kudes. I was trying to look for the English name for the kudes. Oh, I tell you, did I get? Let me see if I got it. But uh, I want to thank God that everything that we do, God has a reason for it. So I want to encourage you, do not let this season be wasted. Do not let your season when you are young be wasted by resonance, by sleeping in, sleeping in. There is a time you are going to sleep when we die. Let us sleep, that sleep forever after working when we are here. Like today, I am off work. I slept, but I did not sleep in. I woke up. I did what I'm supposed to do. And here I am. It is good. We balance things. Do how about if you do 20% of everything? You do 20%, you, 
in your house, you do 20% in preaching, you do 20% in doing outside work, you do 20% in serving the community, you do 20% in serving your family, you do 20% of serving your soul. You know, I tell you, let us be balanced people, and I know God will bless you. Sometimes <laughs> it is basically like I, I make fun, or I some people say I act like a cartoon, but no, this is a reality of life. And uh, as you can see, I have tried to I tried to fence this last season because uh, some of the season of vegetables I planted were being messed up by the the squirrels. I tried. I'm gonna try different one. This time I'll try what is called kode or zoroko. I still don't remember the English name for it, but I want to believe that God has a. Uh, he has a plan for each one of us. Wherever you are, in Pegine Nidoma, you can plant those arrows, you can plant the herbs if you have the ability to, uh, or you have a place, or you can use the flower containers, and I know God will bless you. So today, we want to make sure that we live diligent life. Let us live in, in a way that we do not fold our thing our hands like this forever and ever all, all we do is just to beautify ourselves i like to dress up but for today i am here because i'll be coming back i did not want to mix all things maybe for another th at a time i have to come i need to plant some kudas here and so may the lord bless you again my referring scripture today was proverbs 19 uh, verse 15 and i want to read it again i want to read it again i want to read it again it says, it says, lazy people sleep soundly, but idleness leaves them hungry. That is the new translation. That is the new living translation. English Standard Fashion says, slothfulness cast into a deep sleeper, and a neither person will suffer hunger. There is another one called Berean Study Bible. It says, laziness brings on deep sleeper, and a neither soul will suffer. Ay, 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 ay. Listen to this. Laziness brings on deep sleep. You know, after you have slept the normal hours, if you sleep maybe at 10 and wake up at 6, you get out, you refresh yourself, you you go back, you feel so lazy, you sleep again, instead of jumping out of bed and going to do something, there is always something you can do. Be it in the winter, there's something you can do. You can do housework, you can do outside work, outdoor work. If you don't have work, if you don't have anything to do, especially if you're in my area, please come and help me a little bit. I have so much. And I know God will bless you. I believe God wants you to do something here. Whether you are here or you are in Kenya or wherever you are, you are in Uganda, Tanzania, you are in UK, whatever you are. It may not be your season to garden, but if it's the winter in your place, do what you can within your capability and the potential that God has given you. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I have given you word. I pray that the Holy Spirit may water it to bring forth the fruit of encouragement, fruit of somebody getting of their idleness that may cause Jehovah God a lot of need, extreme need in the family. I pray that you may speak to that man, that woman, that young person who is in school and sleeping in until they forget or they, they are ready to forward their to submit their work and they get fed here not because they are not uh, not crefer but because they are lazy. wake us up lord for the glory and honor of thy name so that we don't make your name be just be breasthead help us oh god in jesus name amen and amen you know it takes a personal decision it takes you to decide and so I want to pray with you. You are there. You always feel this when you wake up. You just want to go back to bed. No. Start doing something. Wash yourself with cold water so that you can be refreshed in Jesus' name. I want to pray with you. It takes up you, you, you to make that decision. Tell the Lord to transform you. Let us be transformed by the renewal of our mind. Let us trust the Lord to change us, to transform us from being lazy to active for God in Jesus' name. I would like to pray with you. Be, if you are young, if you are old, 
if you are a man, if you are a woman, let me pray with you. Do you want to say this prayer after me? Lord Jesus, I come before you. I want to thank you for the word that has spoken to me in a very practical way. Help me to take a step that I may be able, Jehovah God, to change my life. Where I have failed in the past, dear Father, let me not live in neglect. Because you have said that if we confess our sins, you are faithful and, and just to forgive us. Help me, dear Lord, start another chapter of being active, of being energetic, of being starting to do something to kill out that laziness, that feeling that comes in me when I wake up, even after sleeping enough. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I want to believe that God has spoken to you. The final prayer I want to speak to you, uh, pray with you, is if you have never trusted the Lord to save you, you are there. The Bible says that if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth, you'll be saved. You'll be transformed from a sinner to a saint. Do you want to pray this prayer after me? Lord Jesus, I come before you. Thank you for your word. I pray that you forgive me my sins. Write my name in the book of life and give me a desire to grow spiritually. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed from a sinner to a saint. Now start walking in the newness of life. Two things very important. Testimony of what has happened to your life. And also joining yourself to a group of believers so that you can share the word of God together because in unity we grow. In unity we thrive. Psalms 1 that I did speak is very well that how good it is for brethren to dwell together in unity because there the Lord commands his blessing. I love you. God loves you the most. Remember of my weekly schedule, let me remind you it's Monday through Wednesday is inspirational word. Thursdays is celebrating in the kitchen with Pastor Florence. Fridays putting on the full putting on the right gear for the weekend. Saturday and Sunday, Pastor Florence can take a break or can bring you random inspirational messages. May the Lord bless you. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Put on that notification bell so that you know when I come in so you don't miss it. I love you. God loves you the most. Remember not to be raised. Get out of raisiness. Proverbs 19.15. Thank you.